I want to talk about bank reconciliations, but because this bank account has such a negative balance here, we're going to go out and put a deposit in this bank account so that we have an opening entry for it here. And what we're going to do is just simply go to Deposits, New. We're going to enter in here a uh, uh, deposit number. We're going to select the bank that we want to do this in. It's going to be the Giro Bank. And uh, I'm going to deposit $350,000 in here. I'm going to set this at 1231.16 because the entries that we have are uh, prior to that. So they, they started in January 2017. So we'll make this it's a, an opening entry here. I'm going to go to bank checking for my account number. I'm going to make this uh, an opening entry for this. And I'm going to enter in an amount here of $350,000. Probably need a document number. We're going to call it NBD01. And I'm going to just preview this to make sure that this uh, all looks good. I can do this deposit test report here. Preview it on the screen. Uh, difference is zero. Everything looks good. So I'm going to close this up and hit post. And this should post this opening entry for us. If we now go back and take a look at our bank accounts and we look at the Giro account, it now has a positive balance. So from the bank card, I can pick bank account reconciliation. Um, I have one that I've basically created here. And I don't have any opening or ending balances for this, but when I get my bank statement, I typically do. So I would look at my last balance, and since I had an opening balance here of $350,000, I know that that's uh, what that would start with. This gives me a, a, a little message, says, do you want to change the value? I'm going to say yes. And then I also know what my ending balance would be on this bank statement if I actually got one with these transactions. It would be 62884, um, 8624. And so this would be, this actually matches the balance that I have down here because I, I have that opening entry plus, you know, the, of the 350 plus the entries that I had here. And so this is exactly where uh, we should be. So when I do bank deposits, what I would normally do, if I were doing the month of January, for example, I would suggest lines here, and I would put in January 1 through the 31st. The reason that these numbers are popular like this is that my work date is in January, and if I said OK, it would transfer over just those lines for me. And as you can see, we, we wouldn't be in balance with this statement because this statement is covering transactions that go all the way down to June. If we take a look at all of the open entries that are out here, this goes all the way down into June for this. So what I'm going to do is simply delete these rows. And I'm going to suggest um, lines again. Only this time I'm going to go through the end of June, 117. And this include checks should always be picked if you're obviously if you're doing checks. And when we take a look at this, what we find here is that we have 358, uh, 358, 628, 84, which is the amount of these opening uh, items here. And everything now is uh, in balance. We're back to a total difference. I would post this now, and this bank reconciliation would have uh, would have taken place for us.